our final topic. Um, at this point, we've had so many leaks for Doctor Strange that it's hard to see which ones are true, which ones are false. Tom Cruise, 100%. Toby Maguire yep, yep. seems to be more or less confirmed. Everybody's like, yeah, it's yep, probably yep. happening. Um, this week, Rob Liefeld was being interviewed and he was like, well, I've seen some of those leaks. Yeah, they're real. And also there's some other stuff out there that's real as well. He wouldn't exactly explain which ones, Wait. but. Uh, Funny, yeah. that isn't it? Yeah. Dude, hasn't, hasn't he done that before where he says, yep. he knows some yep. things. Yep. <laughs> he never says what it Guess is. Guess what? Never happened. No. Oh, so, <laughs> um, most people that I've seen, because he said, oh, there's other leaks out there that are true, but I can't say what it is. The ones that people automatically jump to is the one he would have to be credited for. And that's Deadpool, because it's like, if he's in there, they would have to credit him like legally. And if they didn't, and they use Deadpool, even in a cameo, he could sue the movie into the ground. You know, he's talked Wasn't about that it? before. Wasn't there a thing with uh, the Cub Vance creator recently but not being credited? <laughs> Despite being in... That Star was Wars such show? a weird thing, and I don't even know how that happened, honestly. And uh. it, it could be the whole digital creation rights now, which the contracts are so different nowadays, where you don't even have to be credited in a weird way. But we know Liefeld's connection to Deadpool is so... Look, it's the only thing the dude has, right? Like, that is it. He's got his NFT. <sighs> yeah, and his, and his Kickstarter is that he doesn't uh, bother uh, giving out the Kickstarter rewards to. The two. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Like, I I'm gonna guess if there's anything that Liefeld is connected to, it will be a Deadpool cameo. That's the only thing I could see. I don't think there's much else maybe a cable one could work but i'm a firm believer that he's absolutely yet again talking out of his ass and has no clue what they're doing i mean that's all i felt as anything as he's ever done so you know like we just had hawkeye where you had um i can never remember the artist's name from the oh Fraction yeah run. yeah uh I, you know Aja, is it i can't remember aha uh -huh or something like that yeah i, I, yeah. I, I can't remember it's um, you know, like not even getting paid would have only if they, you know they don't even have to talk to these people about using their stuff. Mm -hmm. So why would they ever talk to Liefeld? Yeah, like, they don't. Liefeld couldn't even get in on the ground floor with the fuck stuff. <laughs> why would Feige ever go to life? <laughs> I, I don't. I eh, I don't get it. But. Oh yeah. Like, are there going to be some cameos from the Fox stuff? At this point, I'm convinced, yes, we are going to get some Fox stuff. But I don't think Liefeld knows what the hell he's talking about. No, I'm, I'm convinced he probably knows a little thing or two, but I don't think he knows anything more um, than most I'm, people. I'm, I may butcher the name for the artist, but it's uh, David Aja. Okay, so it was Aja, yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I thought it was something like that. It's just a like, pronunciation and all that. I can't the crediting rights to everything are very weird. And as you yeah. said, like, it, Liefeld has literally been out there being like, let me share this art of beheaded Disney people. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, what? And we wonder why they're like, oh, based on characters from Marvel Comics or DC Comics. Like, we wonder why this stuff's happening now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a whole thing. Yeah. All, all these guys get a special thanks. So. Mm -hmm. Unless you're Matt Fraction and you get the, the executive producer role. But. Yeah, you, you get Papa Fraction treatment. That makes sense. <laughs> um, so, Doctor Strange 2, it's, I'm actually shocked that we are like two months out and we've had so little in terms of big leaks. Like, when it comes to Spider-Man, oh, well, we knew the... Enough. Oh, yeah, you know what? There is kind of a big... There, there's about three or four different versions of the entire plot on like Reddit and 4chan. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of wild. And you gotta, you know, pick and choose, I guess, which ones you believe. But again, we've seen this before, so it's going to be interesting to well, see. It happened with Spider-Man. It happened with Endgame as well. Like, the, the plot is out there. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have the pilot. Like for Spider Man, the pilot was out there, I think, was it in July? <laughs> in July, yeah. Like, and Endgame was out there all week after Infinity War. <laughs> it's kind of. These people, they got some. They got some big ones. Yeah. So, yeah, Doctor Strange, I imagine. I, I, I read a plot leak um, about a month ago, I think, at this point, or maybe like three weeks. And the more you look at the stuff we've seen of it, you're like, that kind of adds up. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, well, that adds up. That, that, that fits. So, um, I think I know the plot for that movie already, but. Yeah, it's. It, it, I think the big thing is just going to be like the surprise cameos at this point, right? Which that's like mostly going to be visual effects and things that are handled yeah. there and however they decide to throw whoever in there but overall whatever happens with these leaks um i, I just want a good film you know we said that for spider-man yeah, yeah like we were saying it spider-man for all we know could have been a complete disaster with how many oh, things yeah, were going yeah. on so we got lucky that it wasn't and that's I always if, a chance if, that, if multiverse of madness can take that the cameos are in service of the plot not the plot in service of the cameos approach that no way home took yeah we have nothing to worry about it's yep. gonna be absolutely fine mm-hmm. and hopefully beyond that but it's at least going to be a good movie yeah i, I think with no way home they've shown the approach they're taking to all this sort of stuff so i've got no no qualms anymore yeah same same so overall um whatever leaks are out there but choose if you believe them or not but the ones that are confirmed like 100 percent confirmed is tom cruise that is that yeah is I, I i fully believe those set leaks I've that is if those are leaks, then my God, like they got a problem in there. And if those are fakes, well, I mean, if you're going to put those through photo analysis, unless somebody's really good at faking all sorts of depth and thing and not leave any trace behind, that's pretty good as well. But hey, mm-hmm. I mean, we'll find out um soon. Doctor Strange is almost see, here. We got the Super Bowl on Sunday. So I imagine we're going to get, I'm, if we don't get a trailer and if Doctor Strange, I'm going to be stunned. I mean, but- it would make sense if they do a teaser trailer and then reveal full trailer coming Monday. Like that. Well, the kind teaser of trailer is what we got with No Way Home. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a teaser trailer, technically. Yeah. yeah. So I guess 30 second spot and full trailer on Monday would kind of work. I mean, possibly, yeah. Whatever it is, Unless we're going to just... talk about it. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, fingers crushes the full trailer. I think he desperately needs one at this point. Yeah, it does. But... Yeah. Unless this film features so many cameos that they know people are ready for and they ha- and they can hide it like Spider-Man, this trailer is going to need to drop something that gets everybody talking. Cause... So is the Brazilian one going to have um, Shima Gorath be kicked by an invisible thing? <laughs> it's just an invisible floating <laughs> chain, but they CG'd out the bike and Ghost Rider. It's like, what's that chain doing spinning? <laughs> uh, oh, amazing. That'll be amazing. Um, well, it's just an empty Iron Man armor. They just CGI Cruise's face out. <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's AI Tony. Yep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Imagine. I mean, they. In fairness, I, if they wanted to hide anything, if there is an Iron Man variant in this, and why wouldn't there be at this point? If they just had the face blue, I wouldn't be mad. Honestly, and then the, the movie comes around. It's actually. Uh, Tom Cruise's head. That's See, perfectly fine. What I would hope they do is throw everybody off, show us Iron Man, and as the faceplate lifts up, reveal Benedict Cumberbatch in there and make everybody yeah, think yeah. he's a variant. And then when we see it, it's Tom Cruise, and everybody's like, Wah! and then people can have the hot takes. The, the trailer lied. Why? Oh, <laughs> I hate it. We just circle back to 2019 again or 2018. Yep, yep. yep, exactly. It's all the way back to it. So, um, yeah, look. Trailer's dropping soon, so we'll talk about it.